Hey, coming up today at 11.30 on 6 in the Mix, more of my personal journey to give my son life-saving swim skills. We're going to break down what else you need to know to keep your family safe around the water. Did you know May is National Water Safety Month? And though the month is quickly coming to a close, making the right moves to keep you and your family safe as they splash around the water this summer, it's something that we really need to think about all year round here in South Florida. So here's part two of our swim safety report. We'll all take a cool dip during the steamy South Florida summer months. But Florida leads the way in drowning deaths for children between the ages of one and four. Do you and your family know what to do when tragedy knocks? Survival swim lessons, a must. Arming your kids with the tools they need to save their own lives. Reach up. Marlene Bloom, founder of Baby Otter, designed its Turn Kick Reach program almost 40 years ago. In just five days, your child will learn to turn back to the wall, kick, 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 kick towards it, and reach up for that precious breath. But there's a long swim safety list to check off. A pool fence, a must. And lock it up every time you leave the pool. Alarms on your doors? Have a phone nearby in case of an emergency. Have a shepherd's hook three feet from the pool. That's what you use if someone falls in. The last thing you want to do is go in after them because you can become the next victim. Turn. And monitor the water level of your pool. You want to make sure it's high, just in case. If your water level is way down here, a child can swim to the wall but can't reach it. It's no good. You need to keep the water level up as high as you can to, for the protection of your child. If someone gets stuck in the pool's drain, do you know what to do first? What you have to do is turn the pump off. Every family should know exactly where the switch is to turn the pool pump off. What about floaties for your kids? They could put your child's life at risk. They are a false sense of security. A lot of times the child will be, especially if they don't even know how to swim yet, they'll be playing around, playing around, and having the greatest time in the water. Everybody goes in for lunch. They take off the floaties. Child's finished. Child runs out the pool, jumps in, thinks he can still swim. No floaties. Your eyes on your kids while in the water. That is the most important rule to follow. Good job. That was my little baby otter there, Julia, my 20 month old, who successfully completed the five day program with lots of mommy homework. By the way, you got to practice for two weeks, at least 15 minutes a day, and then continue that practice. For more on Baby Otter Swim School, Baby Otter Andre Dawson and its different survival programs and their home safety assessment, call 888 SWIM KID or 954 704 0080. You could also log on to babyotterandredawson.com. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They do service from Jupiter to Kendall and come to you to work with you at your pool. They also service special needs children as well. Hey, and right now, They're download our free NBC6 really News one. app. Behind the scenes video with my son Julian as we took him for this five day swim survival lessons with Miss Marlena, Miss Mindy. I kept a daily mom diary as well. There's also daily feedback from his teacher as well, and more tips that you can keep up with your kids at home. That's all on our free NBC6 app and online under six in the mix. Turning now to today's Forever Family.